Hey everybody. Hey, I'm sorry. I know I'm running a little long on these videos, uh, but uh, but I'll definitely do my best to get to get better with that in time. I, I'm sorry. Um, but um, the Max is just so cool. I, I I had to take time to kind of go on, to go over everything. Um, we left off looking at his accessories at his second head. Um, now the Max also comes with uh, the Izzes. Now the Izzes are little creatures indigenous to the Outback. Whoa! And in the Outback, they are actually white. And even though they do have a bit of a, um, how should we say, uh, well, they have a bit of a mean streak to them. They're fairly harmless. Um, as you may have heard on other reviews, of course, they are herbivores in the Outback, but because most creatures in the Outback are partly plants, they'll pretty much eat anything. Uh, they travel in huge, huge waves, um, enough to basically bowl over just giant creatures, um, and, of course, no eyes. Happy smile, but no eyes. When brought into the real world, the Izzes turn black. And one of the interesting uh, characteristics of the Izzes is that they will actually take on the appearance of whatever they're disguised as. So if you put him in um, kind of a, a, a used jacket, you know, a, a, a dirty shoes, uh, knit cap. Yeah, you can. You can actually. He, he'll actually appear as a homeless person, or just some bum on the street. Uh, put on a granny beehive hair with uh, with glasses and a and a and a old dress. They look like a bunch of grandmothers. <laughs> so, um, I love the I love the play as well because when you talk about the is. You just like with the Max and his story. You never really know. What an is is no no pun really intended, though I'm sure that was that's what the writer had in mind. What is an is? Uh, those these two were the primary kind of ises that we saw at the beginning. Later, when the story focused more on Sarah and a few of the other char um, uh, and and. Uh, developed some of the other characters later in life. We did get the pink is, the fairy is, and she is the only one that actually has eyes of sorts. A uh, cool little thing was that these had to be kept in water or they would actually explode. Which to me, you know, is very appropriate for an is. One thing I, 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 I mean, I like these is's. I've seen the is's from the old McFarlane uh, Max. And uh, they have a little butt sculpted on, which was one of the funniest things about the uh, the Isis from the comics, that they had their butts. Um, these don't, which is kind of a shame. I, I, I wish they had. Now, each of the figures in the, this wave has an Is that comes with it. And a lot of people have uh, have been saying that, you know, there's going to be, they're going to display their Isis with, with their Max. Which is fine, because the Isis are from the Max series. But if you know the Max series, you know that the Max really used to fight the Izzes. They weren't really his buddies. Uh, the Izzes were actually the, the, the little henchmen of Mr. Gone, who, say what you will about the Joker, say what you will about Lex Luthor, about Magneto, about any of the supervillains out there, to me, Mr. Gone beats them all. Mr. Gone was the best villain to the hero. You know, as far as uh, as uh, as uh, uh, evil goes, as far as a match he was to the hero, Mr. Gone was the perfect foil for Max. Um, I bring Mr. Gone up because by buying the all five of the figures, whether it be the collector's pack or just all five, um, by seeing the UPC codes or by buying the, the 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 full set from Shocker directly, you will get the Mr. Gone bonus figure. And he'll come in the mail later. I'll definitely do a review on him. And he's the one I'm going to be putting with all the is's. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give a 
little look at Max from the back here because right now we've got started on the review revolution we've got a few videos up we've got some great subscribers thank you everybody uh, please comment please rate please tell people um, I certainly appreciate it uh, one of the things that I'm going to be doing is as we're going through the videos occasionally you may see a little Izzy come to take a peek at what's going on and I'm going to start having contests that will ask questions such as how many videos had the black and white is only well so far you can only say none if I ask well what was the first video that took the pink is out you can say it was part two of the max revolution and uh, and I'm going to go ahead and try and do some some good prizes. I'll, I'll see if I can if I can get you know some great action figures. You know some things that that, that you know people really like. Um, but um, that is going to be the contest theme behind the review revolution. Will be a spot the is. Oops. And I promise that if I do the black is, I'll either use a different backdrop or I'll do something to make him stand out a little bit more because he does blend in really well. Um. Otherwise, that is a look at Shocker Toys The Max, my favorite figure. Uh, I, I know I gave Power Girl a perfect 10. I'm, I feel so lucky that I, I'm, I'm able to give another perfect 10. Uh, that's, uh, that's two so far, and, uh, and they're both on display here. Uh, I've got them out to show, and I really love them both. So, this is the Review Revolution, wrapping up the second part, or the follow-up, to the Shocker Toys Max. Thanks for watching.